Hello, today we are going to answer the question, can you have more than one type of EDS? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Laura and I make educational videos about hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, as well as lifestyle videos to help make living with a chronic illness a little bit easier. Now back to today's topic. Can you have more than one type of EDS? The short answer is yes, it is theoretically possible, but it is statistically highly improbable. Let me explain. So in theory, it is possible for you to have a mother with, say, vascular EDS and a father with classical EDS, and it is also theoretically possible for you to inherit both of those gene mutations. So while this scenario is possible, it's highly unlikely to occur since vascular EDS is only seen in about 0.001% of the population, and classical EDS is only seen in about 0.005% of the population. Also, both vascular and classical EDS are mostly autosomal dominant, and a child has a 50% chance of inheriting one of those disorders. Now, I'm not a statistician, but the chances of a person with a rare condition meeting another person with an even rarer condition, and then having a child in which both conditions are inherited, is extremely low. And we're not even talking about the extremely rare subtypes of EDS, some of which are recessive. So both parents would have to have the same extremely rare recessive subtype of EDS, as well as at least one parent with a separate subtype of EDS that's dominant for a child to then have two types of EDS. So let's talk about hypermobile EDS specifically. Is it possible to have HEDS and another subtype of EDS? The answer as of today, which is November 6, 2022, is no. Because the genetic cause for HEDS has yet to be identified, HEDS is currently diagnosed clinically based on physical features and symptoms assessed through a lengthy set of diagnostic criteria that must be met to receive an official diagnosis. Part of meeting that very strict set of diagnostic criteria is ruling out other connective tissue disorders, which includes the other subtypes of EDS. So currently, you cannot be formally diagnosed with hypermobile EDS and another subtype. If you have a current diagnosis of HEDS and then receive genetic testing and find out you have, say, classical-like EDS, your hypermobile EDS diagnosis will then become null and void, and you would just have classical-like EDS. If and when the genetic cause for hypermobile EDS is found, then it would become possible to be officially diagnosed with HEDS and another subtype if and only if both gene mutations are found through genetic testing, though again, this would still be highly unlikely statistically speaking. So there you have it. Having more than one type of EDS is theoretically possible, but statistically improbable. Have you been officially diagnosed with more than one type of EDS? If so, I would highly recommend clarifying your diagnoses with the doctor who diagnosed you. It's possible that you may have misunderstood them. For example, you could have hypermobile EDS with vascular features, such as aneurysms, and classical features, such as stretchy skin, but you most certainly do not have hypermobile, vascular, and classical EDS. If you have documented proof of genetic mutations for, say, both vascular and classical EDS, you are not only a medical zebra, but a unicorn and a centaur as well. If you thought this video was helpful, please support my channel by giving that like button some love and leave a comment in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, such as why I started a YouTube channel and is an official HEDS diagnosis worth it, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you know when a new video is released. Thanks for watching and see you next time.